Well, they look exactly how they sound, and the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources needs your help finding them. They're known as blue land crabs. WMBF News reporter Ashley Listrom spoke with SCDNR to learn more. So, Ashley, why are scientists worried about blue land crabs at this point? Well, Eric, these blue land crabs are actually a non-native species to South Carolina, and they come all the way from Brazil and South Florida. Well, nature never stops. I mean, it continues to evolve and change constantly. Dan Lucenti and his family love watching nature. They're at Huntington Beach State Park looking for crabs. And that includes the non-native blue land crab. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources says for more than 20 years, there had only been 12 reports of blue land crabs until now. In just a couple of months, I think we had 53 or so confirmed reports. Blue land crabs can reach up to six inches long and often have a soft blue or orangish hue to their shell. These crabs are also known for one claw being much larger than the other claw. Heavy rains bring the crabs out of their burrows, which can allow the public to see them more clearly. I find it funny how they eat. They just pick up the sand and put it in their mouths. While Brody came out to look for crabs, he says. I also like eating them. They're delicious. <laughs> SCDNR assistant marine scientist Dr. Daniel Sassoon says the biggest thing you can do is to look out for and report these crabs. We're hoping anyone from the public, wherever they are, if they see one of these guys, if they're not sure what they are, if they might be a blue land crab, take a picture, send them a report, and, and let us know if they see them. Officials say that research to learn more about this species within our state could take up to two years to complete. Reporting live in Merle's Inlet, Ashley Listrom, WMBF News.